Hey there, boys and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tass. I'm back with another video. Uh, today we got another 4K Blu-ray to review. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy about this one. And, yeah, we got a good one today. Uh, real quick first, though, if I could just have one minute of your time, I just wanted to show you a couple of... Uh, the one I'm reviewing today is a steel book, but just real quick, I got a couple of other steel books that I'd just like to show you real quick, if you don't mind. Um, I picked up the 4K steel book of Raiders of the Lost Ark. This was gorgeous. I found it for a really good markdown price, and I couldn't help it. I love the Indiana Jones movies. I grew up on them. Uh, I was from that generation. I grew up on these movies, and when I was a kid, I wanted to be Indiana Jones, and I know that uh, I know that uh, in the documentary that you know um, originally the conversation came up that um, well George Lucas had already been working on the story and everything for Raiders of the Lost Ark and like he and Steven Spielberg were talking and um, they were talking about like dream projects they would have liked to have done and and uh, Spielberg said he always wanted to do a James Bond movie and and uh, George Lucas was like I got that beat so he told him about this and. The two of them worked it out to where, you know, they would work together on this and, you know, the other three movies. So anyway, so, yeah. There we go. We got the Ark of the Covenant on there. No digital code came with this, you know, like I said, I got it used, but, you know, we do have a nice little poster come with it. I want to get these framed, put them on my wall in the movie room, and... There we go, there's inside with the disc. And without Indian Sala taking the arc out. But yeah, and uh, if you're a fan of the Indiana Jones movies, I definitely recommend getting them on 4K. They do look really gorgeous on 4K, either in the steel book or get the box set. But yeah, so Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know masterpiece of a movie and we also got indiana jones in the temple of doom this movie can be hit or miss with some people i love it i really do i look i love all the indiana jones movies i'm looking forward to getting the steel books for last crusade and yes even uh kingdom of the crystal skull i know there are going to be some people out there you know i know a lot of people didn't like kingdom of the crystal skull but let's just wait i'm sure that next year after disney puts out their indiana jones movie you're probably going to get quite a few people who are going to be like, you know, King of the Crystal Skull wasn't really that bad. But it's really nice, though. And you got the stones. Beautiful. This one, too, has a little poster in it. So I always remember this poster from my childhood. So cool. Then the inside with the disc. Then without it. Indy on the bridge, getting ready to cut the bridge ropes. All right. So anyway, so I thank you for taking a couple of minutes to just indulge me with this. But anyway, yeah. Hang on. There we go. So yeah, two really nice steel books, and like I said, I can't wait to get the other two. <clears throat> okay, now let's get to the real reason you're here for. <clears throat> Sorry. Today we're gonna eat, we're going to review the uh, 4K Blu-ray steel book of Event Horizon, starring the super awesome Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill. I know Sam Neill is kind of hit or miss with a lot of people. Um, you know, a lot of people like him, a lot of people don't. I remember my mother never really cared much for him, but I don't know, Sam Neill, I always liked him. I never had a problem with him as an actor, but a um, really good movie, good sci-fi horror film, uh, directed by Paul uh, W.S. Anderson. This is pre-Resident Evil, but this is this is a pretty nifty little flick. And so just going to show you, there's a spine, and we got the back with the, the ship on there. Okay. I'm sure you've probably already seen other people's videos about the steel book, but if you notice, you take the steel book and you have two eyes. So, that's cool. We've got the inside here. you got your 4K Blu-ray disc and your regular Blu-ray disc. Take these babies out. Oh. 
get the nice interior there. Really cool. And uh, yeah, this is a really nifty little addition. Um, I will say though, like this is probably gonna irritate people who are not into steel books. Because I know a lot of people, you know, there are a lot of people out there, they don't care for steel books and it's just not their thing. So I don't know, maybe maybe give it a little bit of time. Maybe they'll re-release this and put it in an Amory case, but for right now, <clears throat> yeah, you're kind of stuck with the you know, you're kind of stuck with the steel book case. So but anyway, so what else have we got here? We got this here. Also comes with the digital code and uh, real quick. If anybody, you know, if somebody gives you a digital code from this release and you renew it, you do get the 4K UHD version. So, uh, disc one is just the 4K Ultra HD with the feature film. Why they couldn't just include the commentary, I don't know. Um, makes no sense to me. It's like, I don't think it would have taken that much more room on the disc just to put the audio commentary on there. What do I know? Then disc two, we have the feature film plus bonus features. We have commentary by director Paul W.S. Anderson and director Jeremy Bolt. Uh, the making of Event Horizon, five documentaries. The point of no return, the filming of Hor Event Horizon with director commentary. Secrets with selectable director commentary. The unseen Event Horizon, the unfilmed rescue scene, uh, conceptual art, and trailers. So you do get a handful of bonus features. I do, I do believe. See, the thing is, is I have to admit, I never picked up the um, Screen Factory Collector's Edition Blu-ray of this movie. So I've only, I've only had the um, the Paramount Blu-ray. So I do believe that the Screen Factory does have a few more bonus features that are not on this release. But even still, <clears throat> um, you say, is this release worth it? Well, yeah. I mean, you do get. Maybe you don't get as many bonus features as you would on the Screen Factory, but you still at least get some bonus features. And uh, well, let's talk about the movie. Um, you get the beautiful, let's see, yeah, you do get the uh, beautiful uh, Dolby Atmos and Dolby Surround, or Dolby Atmos, Dolby Sound, um, Dolby Picture. Uh, let's see, the picture quality on this is absolutely gorgeous, and I highly recommend picking this up. One thing that always bothered me was when I would watch this on Blu-ray, um, the, oh my God, the digital effects really, really took me out of this movie uh, a number of times they did. Uh, what you got here with the 4K and the high dynamic range, it definitely smooths out some of the digital effects. They're still pretty, ugh, they're still pretty obvious. Um, still look a little cartoony, but, you know, it's like the 4K and, and, you know, the high dynamic range really does kind of help smooth some of that out a little bit. Um, it looks great on 4K. Um, it's just, a, it looks great. It sounds fantastic. Um, that's the thing. You know, I've said this before in other, you know, other 4K reviews is that, um, you know, just 4K and Ultra HD, high dynamic range. It just, it really does lend itself to, you know, spectacle films like this you know um you know it really helps movies like science fiction films and fantasy films and you know uh big budget conceptual films you know westerns things like this and um it definitely benefits from the 4k transfer so i would i would definitely suggest yeah if you are a fan of this movie and if you want to see it you know in probably the absolute best presentation of it that you can get you really should pick this up it looks great. It sounds great. Um, honestly, it's like I can't really see myself going back to watching this on Blu-ray after seeing it in 4K. It's just, it just looks so much better this way. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about really all I can say about it. It's just, you know, Paramount did a great job with this. Like I said, I think the, you know, there is kind of a trade-off in that, you know, you don't get as many, you don't get as many bonus features as you would on the you know, the Screen Factory Blu-ray, but, you know, but anyway, so, yeah, I would definitely recommend Event Horizon on 4K, and, uh, it just, it looks so gorgeous, and it's just, you know, you get a beautiful edition of it, too, and just, yeah, and for right now, it's still at a pretty decent price, so, yeah, go ahead and pick it up. 
you know, just like so many things I noticed, like, you know, so, you know, some of the detail, like inside the spaceships and, you know, and, uh, you know, when they get to the, I forget what it's called, you know, but they get to the, you know, the, the big thing that's like all spinning around and stuff like that. Um, it, like, it just looks more realistic. It doesn't look so video game like it doesn't look so cartoony like and stuff it looks it looks more kind of like it does exist in that space you know um like i said it doesn't really smooth out all of the bonus or the bonus fee it doesn't smooth out all of the um the digital effects but still it does it is an improvement in picture quality wise so yeah if you get a chance pick this up so uh, if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it, and I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, go and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be much more content coming. And um, that's it. Take care of my boils and ghouls, and I'll see you later.